can fight our desires But when we stop making fires holidays um so today i'm going to be doing a cumulative haul for you um the last time i did a haul was an alta haul which i believe was back in february so it's been a really long time so i have a lot of things to to show you guys um please know that it was not purchased all at once um it's actually spread out over these past um eight uh, eight months or so. Um, a lot of the things I got on sale um, from either the Sephora Friends and Family sale, um, when Urban Decay was having a massive sale. Um, um, some of it includes items that I got for my birthday and and others were just like splurges. So. so I'll just get right into it. Okay, so I'll start off at what I got from earlier this year, and I'll kind of go chronologically for you. Um, okay, so uh, I purchased some items from the Mac Surf Baby collection, and it was actually just uh, two things. It was a cheek powder in my paradise, and I really, really like this blush. As you can see, it's really um, coral colored and has a gold overlay on it. Um, right there. And I'm actually wearing this blush in my most recent, in my May Faves video, video. I'm wearing this blush. Okay, and then also from the Surf Baby collection, I got uh, the white waterproof eyeliner in Gilded White. And then I guess I'll just do a swatch for you guys. Right here. And I normally wear it uh, in my inner corner or like under the eye area, like right here. And from Urban Decay, I purchased the um, I think it's fifteenth the fifteenth anniversary palette. Oh, geez, you can see all my stuff there because it's like a mirror. So you can see all my clutter. So I'll just open it for you. Okay, so I got this right here. All comes with um, fifteen shadows. When Urban Decay was selling a lot of their older items, and a lot of it was uh, fifty percent off. Some of it was only a dollar. Some of it was three dollars. So I jumped on that right there, and with that. I got a bronzer from Urban Decay. It's Urban Decay Baked Bronzer in Toasted. This is only, I got it for $12. Originally I think it was $20. Okay, and then I got a bunch of pigments that were only a dollar, believe it or not. Six pigments here. And they are in Rockstar, right here. It's like a glittery black. I also got it in Asphyxia, which is a pink. And I got it in X. And this really nice green, it's just protest. Shattered. Graffiti. And Goddess. Okay, so that's what I got from Urban Decay. And also I got was really into the L'Oreal High Intensity Pigment um, products. So I got a bunch of their gel liners. Okay, so I got it in, in brown and in midnight blue, in eggplant, and this is a really pretty, pretty one in teal. And then of course I got the black, but that's why I'm some, somewhere else that I got that. Um, I just got to find the right brush to, to use those with. Okay, now moving on to things that I got for my birthday. Um, so my birthday was in October. Um, so a little short story there, uh, a nice romantic story I guess you can say. My husband, um, he didn't really know what to get me for my birthday, but he knows I really like makeup. So what he did is he googled best foundation out there and he looked on different um, websites to see what was what makeup items are really popular among like the beauty community um, and so he got me a few products from NARS he also got me something from Makeup Forever and um, uh, he got me an Archit brow kit from Sephora um, but I actually ended up returning that for a set of tweezers because the brow kit was a little um, 
I don't think it was worth the money. So I exchanged it for some tweezers that I really liked. So he got me the Nars Bronzer and Laguna, but this one I actually got re-swatched for it um, back at Sephora, and they gave me an It in Casino. Because uh, Laguna was fairly light and showed well on my skin. But I really like this one, and it hasn't broken me out or anything, so that's always good. He also, the Makeup Forever foundation that he got me was in the Matte Velvet Plus, right here. And originally he got me it in 40, and uh, it was a little bit too light for me, so I went back and they re-swatched me with 45, so he was really close. Um, and I do like this foundation, it would probably be great to use during the summer, but not so much during the winter since my skin's really dry. However, while I was waiting on a shipment from Lancome to get my you know, my Holy Grail foundation, I used this and I just, what I did was I just mixed some moisturizer in it and it actually really applied smoothly and it didn't, um, and it was really nice. So I just had to sheer it out a little bit with some moisturizer. Okay, so my friends gave me, um, some gift cards to Macy's and so, um, I've been wanting to build up uh, my MAC blush, brush collection, um, but you know how expensive they are. It's not really smart to buy a bunch at once because then you'll just be, you know, broke and we can't buy anything for a while. So with the gift card, I got the MAC 217 brush, and I also got the MAC contouring brush, the 109, and so I use that for my, um, bronzer, and sometimes I use it for, like, the real densely packed, packed uh, blushes that I have. I use that thing I forgot to mention that my husband got me from NARS. He got me two eyeliner pencils uh, in graffiti, or sorry, in Calice and Black Moon. So I'll just swatch those for you. Now Calice, or Black Moon is like a really soft black. It's not a very bold uh, black. Like the Milani Liquify black, it's not like that bold. Um, so here is Black Moon and there's Calice swatched. And it's a really pretty color. You can just smudge it out a little bit. Yeah, I like using Black Moon to like do a nice, really sexy, excuse me, smoky eye. <clears throat> um, some products I got from Sephora Friends and Family Sale um, are a lot of products that I never, I wouldn't have purchased on my own uh, full price for, but I just kind of justified the purchase with a 20% off. And then I figured if I didn't like it, I could always take it back because Sephora has an excellent um, return policy. So I got uh, this uh, moisturizing gel from Clinique. It's the Clinique Dramatically Different different Moisturizing Gel. Now I think this would be really ideal for me during the summer when my skin is more oily, but um, for the winter it hasn't really benefited me at all, so I actually don't use it. Okay, I also got from Urban Decay the All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray. Okay, and it's actually pretty tiny. I think it's just one ounce. <clears throat> Yep, oh, 0.5, so it's half an ounce. Right there, so it's really small, but I've used it a few times and I do notice that it does make my makeup last a lot longer and look fresher longer. So on, on days that I know where I'm going to have to go out right after work, I'll use this setting spray uh, before I go to work, after I apply all my makeup. Off was the Makeup Forever HD Finishing Powder. And it is just, I bought the small one because it was only $15 and then I got it with the 20% off. And the big one is just huge, and from what I hear, it lasts forever, so I, I don't need to get a huge one. So there that is. So it's real finely, finely um, powder, and it's really smooth, so it really smooths over, makes your pores look really like, no, minimized, I believe. But I like it so far, it hasn't irritated me at all, and I'm actually wearing it today. The Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. And what made me get this was actually a good review from Makeup by Tiffany D. I haven't noticed it um, irritate my skin at all. I'll just do a little swatch for you there. Okay. This is about as much as I would normally use on my skin. Um, it is very creamy and silky. Okay, and just smooths on over. Uh, the one, only complaint that I have to say is it's probably better for, for me anyways um, during the summer when my skin's more oily. Um, it, like before winter, the real cold weather hit here in California, I was able to to use this and it worked really well. It smooth made my makeup application so much more smoother for my um, foundation and everything. Um, but I think I might want to try a different primer. Um, 
I tested out the Smashbox Hydrating Primer and that seemed to really work well for my skin. Um, this is good too, but it's just, I have to put on more moisturizer when I use this as it's a little, it's not moisturizing at all. Okay, another product from the Sephora Friends and Family Sale was this uh, Glitterized Palette. Now originally, this was supposed to be the Met Metalized Palette, and I believe it was $12. And they sent me the wrong one, and I thought about returning it, but then I changed my mind because I was like, oh, well, I'll probably end up using it anyways because I don't have any real glittery eyeshadows. And I could probably use it as a good cream base. Okay, let me just... Okay, so I swatched some for you on my finger. Okay, so there's the bronze one right there. Here is the green one. The silver. And... Let me swatch that again. And this is... Um, you know, so it's pretty good, and I don't think there'll be too much fall since it's real sticky. So it'll probably be really good as a base. I also got the Happy Birthday Beautiful um, Body Wash from Philosophy, which smells like cake batter. It's very sweet smelling. Um, I also got some eye waterproof eye makeup remover from Sephora. I, got, I just got a Sephora brand, and the reason why it's so low is because I went on vacation recently, and so I put some in a little travel container. Now this one, you just shake it and use it. Um, I'd probably give this like a 6 out of 10. I didn't really like this too much. It doesn't really work well for removing waterproof eye makeup. I still notice a lot of residue on my lashes. So um, probably have to try something else once I use this all up. Uh, Claire Sonic Brush Head and Delicate Skin. Now I'll just do some miscellaneous stuff that I got. Okay, um, from also I got a Mario Betescu Glycolic Acid Toner, which works really well for me. It does not irritate my skin or dry it out, so that's awesome. Um, let's see, only has four or five ingredients. It has deionized water, aloe, aloe gel, grapefruit extract, and glycolic acid. And it works really well for my skin. I ha I've noticed that my skin hasn't really broken out a lot. Um, but it's not too drying, so for the winter it hasn't been too drying on me, which is great. And I believe this is $18. I'm not sure. This is my second bottle already. I went through... My first bottle lasted me um, uh, quite a few months, and then I just bought this one last month. Okay, I got this uh, Balancing Cleansing Gel. This is during the Sephora Friends and Family Sale. Um, it is the from Ren or REN, the May Blossom Balancing Cleansing Gel. And this is really excellent also. It does not dry out with my skin at all. It works really well with my Clairsonic um, and well without it. Um, so my girlfriend actually works at Sephora, and so she let me try several samples of the Ren collection, um, which I'm sure any gal there at Sephora will give you samples if you ask. Um, and this one is really good. And so this is also my second container of this. And it lasts for about three months, I think. Oh, and with my Prime No Poreless Primer, Right here, I got a free flat bookie brush because there was a, like a deal going on. If you spent X amount of dollars on Too Faced, you got a free flat bookie brush. So I believe that is everything that I have to show for you. To you, um, I'm really excited because I'm still waiting on some things from my Black Friday and Cyber Monday haul that I, that I want to share with you guys. So they send it standard mail, so it should be in my hands. Hopefully. Hopefully within a couple days, that way I can show you the rest of the things that I got from um, Cyber Monday and Black Friday. Okay, so that is all I have to show for to you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Let me know if you have any questions on the products, and I would be more than happy to give you an in-depth review on it. Um, as always, you know, thank you for watching. You know, uh, any comments, just put them in the down bar below, or I'm sorry, put in the Put them in, put them in the comment boxes below. If you have any comments, any questions, um, don't forget to rate the video and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, and have a wonderful day. If I don't see you uh, before the before Christmas, have a very merry Christmas with your families, guys. Take care.